Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Bello Calcio. This is the final season of Bello Calcio. We're out in Japan, managing to show on Belmare in the Japanese J League. We've had a successful campaign up to this point in terms of the save. Can we do it for one more season? The board expectations, if you were watching yesterday, suggest that they want us to win all four trophies. I think it's going to be a tough task, but we are going to give it our absolute everything right then we aren't even going to waste any time in this one no waffling we're going to get straight on into the game if you were watching yesterday you would have found out our champions league group we have the first of those games today we are facing mazaya they are from the maldives so it could be a long afternoon for them when they come visit us let's show you the starting lineup and how we get on against mazaya here we go then the first game of a brand new season and we are going to start off with this lineup. So we've got Tani in goal, Hata, Hatanaka, Kuwahara, and Campania at right back. Ghana, who was our MVP, and I think the league MVP from last season, he starts in his familiar RPM role. We've got Quinones, Nishikawa, and Hayashi on the right. Pracer and Mita take their places up front. Can we kick this campaign off with a good win to start us off in the Champions League? Let's jump into the game and show you how we get on. Here we go then, our Champions League campaign for the last season is up and running and straight away there is a highlight after 1 minute 40. They've had a goal kick that is dealt with by the defenders. Kuwahara brings the ball down, Nishikawa to Campania. Nice bit of a build-up play here as we're passing in triangles. Nishikawa comes deep to get the ball, passes it back to Kuwahara. This is something that we have really done well across the past couple of seasons. The way that we play this build-up play, but sloppy pass has given the ball away and it means now that Mazaya are going to probably have the first chance, are they? In fact, their, their build-up play is quite slow. They're just knocking it side to side. So if we could get in and steal the ball, which I thought Preysert was going to do there, then we probably won't give a chance away. And In the end, they've just lumped it forwards aimlessly all the way through to the defence who played to Tani. And Kuwahara is now on the ball. Campania plays it out to Hayashi. What can he do? He finds Mita. Ball over the top to Preysert. One touch, one goal. That's how we start the season. 2 minutes 48 on the clock and we have taken the lead through Preysart. It's a brilliant piece of play here. Campania out to Ayashi who finds Mita who's just dropped off of that attacking line. Comes in between the lines. Plays the ball over the top for Preysart. He's there to just side foot it into the empty net. Goalkeeper with his outstretched hand wasn't going to get there. And we have a 1-0 lead. Straight back into it. 4 minutes. Garner with the corner. It's headed clear for a change. Kuwahara is going to get there though. So Garner's going to get a second chance to get this ball in. Instead, he's going to shape himself to shoot. It's hit the outside of the post. Or right, it must have been the inside of the post actually. Because it's come back to the defender who's lumped it out for a throw in. And Garner gets another corner kick. Quinones has hit the crossbar this time. Mita has got the ball. Plays to Hayashi. And the ball back to him is poor. We're still on the attack and the clip is still going. Garner is going to play it to Nishikawa. What can he do? Finds Mita in the box and selfishly gives it back to Nishikawa. The goalkeeper turns it round for a corner. So, some brilliant play in the opening seven minutes. Can we do anything with this corner? Garner crosses in. Kuwahara's waiting. It's gone all the way through. We've been given a penalty for something. It says that there was a push on Kuwahara. I haven't taken Garner off penalties. If any of you were watching last season, you would have seen James Garner has a horrific record at penalties. Luckily for us, that doesn't continue. Put it down the middle this time. Makes no mistake at all. Scores his first goal of the season. And that kind of makes up for some of the important ones he missed. Including in the penalty shootout at the end of last season. Goalkeeper nearly gets that with his feet though, doesn't he? He's dived quite high. He says he took it home comfortably. It didn't look that comfortable to me from behind the goal. But they all count. It doesn't matter how they go in. And that certainly counts for this one. As Taro Mito, I think, played the ball to Nishikawa. And Nishikawa took it away. Says he misjudged the fight of the ball, but what actually happens? Garner with the corner. Oh, it was um, Kuwahara at the near post who touches it on. Nishikawa is just there to tap it into the empty net. It's 3-0 after 12. Could we be on for some kind of record here? We've had another chance. Goalkeeper makes a save and it's kicked out for a throw-in. So this is high-octane, high-impact stuff as we're just piling the pressure on. Uh, I don't even know if Mazaya have had a shot or anything yet. They're just lumping balls forward, which... I don't know why they keep doing it because it's just not working for them. They keep turning around on the halfway line as well and playing it to defenders who just lump the ball forwards like that. It's intercepted. Nishikawa, ball forwards. He's done it now. He's lumped it straight to Afra in the goal. 
Let's see what they can do from this. I've got a feeling this is going straight to a defender. It does indeed. Campagna then finds a white shirt. Nobody seems to want the ball for more than a couple of seconds. Mohamed has got it. Plays it back to Afra. Now he's playing it forwards. Quinones to Nishikawa. Mita. Hayashi. This has been a long, long clip. What can we do at the end of it? Cross comes in. Quinones is there. It's 4-0. Uh, I am half tempted to take this down a notch in terms of the tempo of the game. It's 4-0. I can't think what our record score in this series is. I've got a feeling we had a 9-0. But we're already at 4 and it's 18 minutes on the clock. We could have had a couple more too. But this is a great cross from Hayashi. Picks out Quinones on the back post. Quinones with a header into the back of the net. So... 14 shots in the first 20 minutes, 7 on target and 4 goals. Poor Mazzaia haven't got out their own half yet. Um, we are basically slaughtering them. Afra spills the ball. It's come out as far as Campania. Is he going to have a shot? He might as well at 4-0. Does. He hits it so hard it goes over the top of the goal. I only just noticed, because our ground is under construction, we've got two stands closed. We have got some uh, blue flooring and some silver stairs in the near camera where the camera is looking out from and behind the goal that we scored all the goals in it's just a construction site too so that's good of the game to realize that whilst the stands are being built it needs to be represented so i don't know whether that's been in previous games or maybe i've just not noticed but i'm quite impressed with that but still back to the attack mitter on the ball what can he do with it he runs out wide down the right hand corner crosses it in nobody there Place that was behind the defender, it's cleared away. Kuwahara to Hatanaka. Hatu's going to get involved here. Quinones, ball over the top. There's Taro Mita, and there's another goal. Any looks from the linesman? No, obviously not, because he's not even in line with the play. Why would he be in line with the play? Uh, but Taro Mita doesn't care about that. Taro Mita just cares about scoring goals. Because that's what this kid does. And it's 5 0 after 28 minutes. Mita side foots the ball into the empty net. And it's a great finish from our forward. Straight from the kickoff then. Straight back to it. And it looks like they're going to knock it about. What can they do with the ball? They knock it out wide. Knock it inside. Ball's in to the attackers. And they've gone all the way back to the halfway line. Hatanaka to Kraysar. Nishikawa. Ball in for Mita. He's not going to miss from here, is he? He is going to miss. Strange. I thought that Mita would have scored from there. Normally one-on-one -on -one chances against goalkeepers, he doesn't miss. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper this time, though. And Mazaya, I think, are going to make it even more difficult for themselves, giving away a free kick. What colour was the card? don't even think there was a card in the end, was there? But it looked like it was going to be a red one, the way that Ghana went to ground. But they got away with it, and we are in the box. Kuwahara, he's, <laughs> he's gone to ground now. So we've got a free kick that has resulted in a free kick. What can we do with this one? Garner surely going to pop this into the top corner, isn't he? This is the range. And there it is. 6-0. Garner's now on a hat-trick from a penalty and a free kick. So if he gets one from open play, he'll have a penalty, free kick, open play, hat-trick. But he smashed that ball round from the right-hand side of the wall. It's gone into the net before the goalkeeper's even moved. He's always barely saw it hit the back of the net anyway. And we're on the attack again. Nishikawa, ball into Preysar. And Preysart's put it wide. Did the goalkeeper even make a save? No, he didn't even make a save. Preysart just put it wide. So I've got a feeling that most of our Champions League games are going to be like this. So I don't know if I'm going to feature the Champions League initially. Because this group stage could get silly if we just win all of these games in this kind of fashion. I mean, Preysart's there at 7 in the first half. 34 minutes. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what the biggest score... I've seen in terms of one of our games is I'm thinking back to FM21 maybe there was there was a big score against an amateur team in the German league when I was at Leipzig but 7-0 in the first half and we are really turning it on so another highlight straight from kickoff they just can't hold the ball Although they are knocking it about a little bit here. But I've got a feeling that that lump ball there is going to come back from a defender. Quinones looks to get on it. Can't. Are they going to have an attack? Like, this will be one of those occasions where I think 
even if they get an attack, somebody will be cheering in the away end. But, uh, you know, we've just continued with our goal-scoring form, and it's 8-0 now, 35 minutes on the clock. This is, I did say before the game, it's probably going to be a long day for Mazaya, and that is exactly what it's turning into. Nishikawa into Mita, and just like I said last time, he doesn't normally miss one-on-ones. This time he doesn't. Pokes that ball into the empty net, and there is Taro Mita to make it eight. Another highlight, 36 minutes on the clock. How many are we going to get before half-time? Uh, Nishikawa's charging forwards, completely unmarked, completely unchallenged. Hits it straight at the goalkeeper, who just plucks the ball out the air. Stops it from being 9-0. But Garner's on a free kick here. Crosses it in. Nishikawa, the goalkeeper, turns it over. Okay, it's a goal kick. Looked like he turned it over the bar, but he didn't. Must have just gone straight over the bar. Going to get one final opportunity to make it nine before the break, and that's exactly what we do. Janichi Akuahara gets the goal to make it 9-0. Uh, it'd be crazy if there was one more chance, because from the last couple of kickoffs, we've got the ball back, had a chance. If we could go in here at 10-0, it would just be absolutely amazing. I mean, we already know what... Oh, my gosh, there is going to be a chance as well. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, we already know at the end of the season when we do the review that this is going to be the game that stands out because that's what they like. Oh, Mitt has put it wide. We had the chance for 10. We, get, we nearly had double digits in the first half. That would have been insane. Oh, we're still going to get another chance. Garner, Kuahara. It's a little bit of a slower build-up play here, but Hatta to Quinones, who found, finds Mitta, and he's put it over the bar. So it's not like we haven't had chances there to go in at double figures. I mean... Look at these stats. We've had 38 shots, 18 on target, 15 off target. Uh, we've scored nine goals. It's absolute craziness. I mean, look at the XG graph there. It's just one way going up and up and up. And straight from this kickoff, I mean, they've made three changes at half time. And straight from this kickoff, they've lumped the ball forwards. It's coming back towards them. Nishikawa's in for Mita. And Mita's missed. So that's two one on ones that he's missed that I thought. He's going to score here, and this is another goal. I'm going to let this passage of play just go, and I'm going to make some changes. Garner crosses it in. Gets headed away, but I think he's going to keep it in. And if this continues, it's Kuahara who's on the ball. Gives it to Garner. That's probably the better option as he's the creative midfielder. But some nice little interchange of play to work it forwards. Hayashi to Nishikawa, Campania, Hata, Garner. Ball out wide to Quinones is intercepted. And then Hatanaka is going to get on it. Quinones again. What can he do? Can he beat his man? Going to cross it into the box. Hatta goes to ground. Thought there was a penalty. But Garner instead smashes the shot. It's gone over the bar. And that's my chance to go and make the substitution. So I think Tachibana can come on in place of Kuahara. Uh, James Garner's one who all of last season was struggling for fitness. So Boazri is going to come on in place of Ghana. Really need to try and look after him this season. Although I've brought him on and it says there he's uninterested, which, yeah, of course, you would be, wouldn't you? And then I think the last, chan the last change I'm going to make, sorry, is Kitahara can come on in place of Preysar. So... A little bit of rotation, try and get us some fresh legs on the pitch, which is not a good thing. Hatanaka scored straight from a corner. It's 10 now, 48 minutes on the clock. At this point, if you pause it, try and have a guess at how many goals we are going to score. I mean, nine in the first half. If we keep that pace up, it'd be 18 nil. If we quicken the pace up, it could be even more. I mean, it does seem every time that they kick off, we get the ball back. So, again, here, the goalkeeper is going to lump this ball forward. It's going to go straight to one of our defenders. Hatta is the chosen one this time. Plays it to Boazri. Plays to Nishikawa. Plays to Kitahara. Just come on. He's turned. He's hit the ball. Goalkeeper's just spilled it. But the shot was straight at him. I do not know what the goalkeeper's doing there. How he hasn't held on to it. But we're up to 44 shots on target. Uh, not too sure what the record for that kind of thing is either. I mean, they haven't had a chance yet, Messiah. But they are pushing forwards. Are they going to... Work something here. Got the ball out wide. Ibrahim to Mazin. But it's intercepted by, Ch by Chabana. Boazri to Nishikawa. Ball over the top. Mitter's in. 
and Mita is going to score. That's number 11. Yeah, no no look from the linesman either. I was thinking for a second there was going to be a VAR check, but no, it's another brilliant finish from Mita. Uh, how many has he got now, Mita? I've lost count, I'll be honest. Uh, is that a hat-trick? Don't think it's a hat-trick, is it? How many has he got? Let's see if we can see from the score sheet here. I think he's got two, hasn't he? Although he's probably on the hat trick now, and Nishikawa's in, he's in on the act. He's got another goal, seventh goal of the season already. That's his second of the game. It says they're fine, finished after a swift break, but these part like the Red Sea and just let us walk straight through. Goalkeeper again at fault. Another bad goal kick. Kitahara plays the Boazri, plays the Nishikawa. I'm glad Boazri got interested for that part of the game because. That's an assist, and that bumps him up to a 7.3 rating. He now looks like a happy chappy there in the middle of the park. I know that Mr. Boasri is a little bit un unhappy because he can't dislodge Ghana from the team, but if ever anybody triggers Ghana's £10 million pound release clause, Boasri is the next man up, so he just needs to have a little bit of patience, which is something you can't tell players on this game. No player ever has patience. We almost had a 13th goal as a header goes over the bar. We have slowed the pace down in the second half, but we've had 57 shots. Can we reach 75 by seven by eight, 90th minute? We're on 79th minute now. Here's Mitta again. He's in behind. He hasn't got a hat trick already. Now he has. That says it's his ninth goal of the season, but I don't understand how it can be. This is the first game of the season. Not too sure whether it counts. Can't count pre season in there, can it? Why does it say it's his ninth goal of the season when this is the first game of a new season? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's something that has been there for a while and I haven't noticed it, but I can't work out why it's giving him nine goals on the year when we are not too far into a brand new year and we are the first game of the brand new season. But Hey ho, by the way, this is going, you could end up with even more goals. Nishikawa's playing it across, goalkeeper's lumped it away. For a change, we have let them kind of counter attack, but Campania's there. Tachibana has got the ball to Boazri, to Nishikawa, Campania to Boazri. Nice ball forward to Mita, turns Nishikawa, Kitahara, Mita's in again, and Mita scores it again. Ryo Kitahara with the assist. Taro Mita, this kid is special. I do remember saying last season that when we signed him, we thought we might have something here. And at his age, the amount of goals he's scoring at the rate he's going, this is a club legend in the making. I am absolutely sure. Taro Mita with another goal. It's 14. 85 on the clock then. There's one more chance coming. Mita intercepts another poor goal kick. Kitahara plays to Hayashi. He's not really got many options in the box. So he's going to cut it back. Finds Campania. He smashes it over the top. Those are the kinds of players that I would like to see on the score sheet. The ones that don't really get the goals. But in this kind of game, anybody can score. So if he would have hit the target there and would have popped one in, would have been proud for him. Uh, but the game goes on. It's 87. We've got another chance. Hatta, Naka, Boazri and Hatta all playing their own little game. Ball from Hatta to Nishikawa to Tachibana to Hatta, Naka, Boazri and then Hatta again. Quinones plays the ball over the top looking for Mita. Ibrahim intercepts but the goalkeeper's distribution has been so terrible. I think if you were to look at his pass percentage completion to our team, I think it would be higher than it is to his own team because he just keeps lumping those balls forwards. Keeps giving us chances to break plays down. And here we are again, scoring again. As I thought Hayashi had messed it up there. Instead, he gets the ball wide. Crosses it in. Kitahara catches it on the volley and taps it into the empty net to make it 15-0. Oh, are we going to have one more chance? There's two minutes of added on time. We're in the first half. Then Quinones has broken into the box. Finds Kitahara. It's got its seventh goal of the season there as well. Is that a hat-trick as well? No, Kitahara scored two. 
So it's absolutely amazing. I think all of my forwards have scored at least one goal. Kitahara's got two. We know that Mita's got three or four. But this has been an absolute rampage. How crazy is that? So you know that Mazoya, when they had that one shot, their fans, or did they have a fan? Normally they carry one or two fans to the away games. You know that that fan was going absolutely mental. Uh, we had 65 shots, 31 on target. An XG of 9.85. We won 16-0 in the Asian Champions League. And that is how you get over a disappointing end to the previous season. By demolishing the first team that comes into your path in competitive football. That's what we've done. Right then, let's have a little look at the schedule. So, we have another of these games coming up. Yangon United. They'll be gone, United. They should change their name too. And then we kick the season off against Chorizo Osaka. So, we're going to skip that Champions League game. Then going to come back for the Osaka game. And then we'll start pushing forwards into the season to see how we get on. Right then, if you're at this point of the video, you enjoyed today's episode and you're enjoying the content on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Every single time you do that, every single person who interacts, it helps the channel so much. And I'm really appreciating everybody who takes the time to do it. Right then, for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Come back tomorrow and see how we get on against Trezo Osaka as we kick off the final J-League campaign of the save.